So this is the beautiful painting we're going to do today. It's a landscape. You see it has all reflections. And I also have the, re the uh, reference photo there that I got from Pixabay for you. And um, we will f I will show you how to do a landscape from a reference photo today. And all you need for this painting is your cad red, cad yellow, ultramarine blue, black, burnt sienna, and sap green and white. And the brushes I'm going to use are my, let's see, my fan brush and a bristle brush, size eight. And I have a liner brush. And I have a chiseled edge synthetic brush. And I have a filbert brush. I may or may not use the filbert, but it's nice to have extras around. Today I'm working on a 9 by 12 canvas. The canvas I'm using is a stretch canvas. See? These are nice because you can hang them right up on the wall. You don't need to frame them. Now your next decision is what you're going to do in the front. If you consider all the background done now and you're happy with it, what do you want to do in the front? Now do you want to do the flowers first or the tree? Now I would do the tree first because when I do my flowers, I can put them uh, around the tree on the bottom rather than trying to drag the tree into the flowers. That would be my decision. Okay, so that's my decision to put in the tree next. So you can see the tree is like a letter V, right? Get you up there to see that. So there's the tree and it looks like a letter V. See? So we'll go by that. We'll make the uh, trunk and the letter V. And that's where I think will be a nice place to start. So I'm going to get my smaller chiseled edge brush out, okay? See how chiseled? Okay, smaller chiseled edge brush. And I'm going to use, um, I'm going to go with some black and, and burnt sienna because I want a really dark underpainting for the lighter part of it. I'm just putting two of them together, as you can see. And I'm on a chiseled edge. Make sure you, make sure you rub your, make sure you take your brush and pull it through your paint like this so it makes it nice and chiseled okay now this is the fun part oh so let's say let's say let's say the bottom of the tree goes about here it looks like it doesn't it and then you come up to about here for the trunk it looks like it doesn't it we hope and then this part comes out up here and it almost goes to that corner okay so that might give you a guide so let's say we have that part done now and then we're going to take our chisel edge and drag let's get more paint and drag it up are you brave you can even use some chalk if you want to to mark it off first to make sure that you like where you're going because once you use the chalk you can always wash it off see if you don't like it and change it all right, here goes nothing all right all right all right all right up, 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 boom cool we can fix that up after and then the other one comes up about here up here up here and then it branches off to two 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 two, two. let's go All right, that's good. So I'm going to redo those because uh, you can see through them and I want them a little thicker. So I made the trunk on the bottom a little, little taller, just for more interest. 
So like I say, you can change things up, don't worry. And then I'm going to thicken this one up a little bit more. So I'm on chisel edge and then I'm going to push a bit harder to make it thicker. All right. Thick, 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 thick. I want this one to match that one. See, just clean it up. And let's thicken up this one here. Just the black and burnt sienna just to a uh, nice dark underpainting. Make sure your chiseled edge, every time you go to reload, make sure that you get that chiseled edge, okay? Small little things like that really help, you know? Because we go back in and your brush is it's all, you know, crooked and it'll make your tree funny. So fix it up whatever way you can. There we go. Clean up the inside. That looks better, doesn't it? Now, we have to get some branches on there for, for those nice little leaves. Look, see those nice little leaves? Now that green, that on there, that's paint. <laughs> I touched it with my finger. Don't let that throw you off. Okay, here we are. Here we are. All right. Now for our tiny little branches, I got a long liner brush and I got a smaller one. So the important thing about these now for those branches are to have your top, the tops have to be nice and thin, almost pencil thin or even thinner, like, like a needle. Okay, see how thin they are? Thinner the better, okay? That'll make your life a lot more easy. So dip it into your water. And then the paint that you used for your trunk, just roll your brush around in it, okay? And then start making some branches. So now we have to find where the branches go. Let's see, let's see. Maybe there's one here. Come off the tree. Don't just jump everywhere, okay? Come off the tree. All right, so you start on the tree and then you come off. All right, maybe there's one up here. See how nice and tiny they are just by using that brush? Now, there's probably one up here. Roll it around in your paint. You have to reload all the time. Maybe there's one coming over here. And maybe there's one coming off of that one. So come off of that one and bring it way down here. And maybe there's, um, just trying to figure out where they are on the reference photo. I'm not trying to get it exactly like it, but I like to have some idea where the uh, so I'm going to make up my own there enough so I'm just going to take line off a line line off a line line off a line little tiny ones little tiny ones a line off a line okay and then this one here more And, and, maybe there's a little one coming out here, down. I might speed this up a little bit for you so you won't have to, let me know, okay, if what you think of, uh, if I 
speed up parts of my paintings just to, to get them moving for you. I don't want you to, you know, to get stuck in one place. We move a little fast in some areas. It might help you move faster. Or we just like to keep it in real time, the whole painting in real time. So I really need your help because I'm doing these for you guys. And I need you to let me know if you like some of the paintings. I have some time-lapse ones, but they're not uh, they are not there for you to follow. They're there just for you to look at. And then you can decide, oh yeah, I like that painting, so I think I'll try it. And I have it in real time also. I have it in parts. And I have it in uh, the full painting, maybe an hour, an hour and a half or more, in my Patreon page. But if you want to do it, if you don't mind the parts, I'll have them in a playlist after they're uploaded. They're published every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you can work on one part while you're waiting for the other part to come up. And uh, practice, you know, you know, rush. But if you get in a hurry to do it, then I got lots on there. So you can do one while you're waiting for, you know, another painting while you're waiting for for another one to come up you should get notified when they're coming up so if they're not coming up for a few days or weeks or whatever then you can try something while you're waiting one of my other paintings but let me know in the comments section you know what you prefer I want to do what you want me to do because it's fun for me either way a lot of people say they like the parts part one part two i'm trying to keep them down to part one and two maybe three at the most i think five or six parts kind of throw you off so um you know i'm experimenting with this also so i can make sure i do this right let me know what else you like to see me paint i've been doing some landscapes lately um i did some animals and uh, flowers i like to try everything but you let me know what you like the most and I have some suggestions that I, I need to do too. I have uh, elephants to do. I don't know anybody out there, anybody else out there likes elephants, you know, uh, as a painting. I know we all love elephants and animals. I think that's enough. What do you think? I think that's enough for now. If we need more, we'll put them in. But I think I'm going to leave that. Now let's make sure that we have this. That looks better. I want to make sure it's nice and thick enough. Maybe a little bit up here too. Just make any adjustments that you need. That's better, see? Let's get a better shape. Okay, so as you can see, we have some reflection up here that should go into the water, reflection from the sky. So I'm thinking there's a little bit of blue there, just a little bit, not much, just a little bit of blue and white on your brush. See, I don't have very much there, because we don't want to uh, have to... make too many changes you might end up making a mess so it's a little bit of blue and then we have a little bit of white from the clouds so I'm just going to add white more white to my brush see this is dry now so it's not going to blend okay but we're going to have a little bit of little bit of reflection from the cloud just sort of wiggle your hand around a little bit to give an illusion of clouds in the water that's all just be careful because it's dry so 
And you don't even have to do this if you don't want to. You can just scrape across some white. Soften it up. See? I'm just turning my brush. Chiseled edge. It's vertical and I'm just pulling across. So that's kind of nice. It's going to give us a little bit of a See? There we go. That's nice. Now we're going to take our fan brush and we are going to highlight the tree. As you can see, the tree has um, bark on it. See? So, we will do that. Just take your fan brush and put a white, a little bit of black, make some gray, a light gray, light gray. All right, a light gray, see? And then just take your brush right on the very edge, the right side of your tree and touch, pull over, touch, pull over. If you didn't come over far enough, just touch, pull over a little further, a little further, touch, pull over, touch, pull over. Some more paint if you need it. Now, if you're finding it hard with the fan brush, just use, as you can see, I have a little bit of a problem there, but I like to try it anyway. I like to experiment. Let's try our chiseled edge brush. Chiseled edge. Touch and pull over. and pull over. Okay, so see see the difference between the fan brush and the chisel edge? Chisel edge only just gives you that. Alright, so we don't want that. So we'll go back to our fan brush again. If your fan brush is... If it it needs to be, see this fan brush just have to curl up on me, that's why I'm having a problem. So get a fan brush and make sure it's nice and straight. So I'm going to fill that bit in there again. Let's go back to the black. Alright. So I'll get the black, the gray, I mean, gray. And we'll do up here. Yes, so make sure your fan brush is nice and straight. That will help tremendously. Touch on this edge and pull over. Touch and pull over. And the reason the fan brush works so good is because the bristles separate. Okay, and then you can do that again if you want with a little more highlight on your brush. A little brighter, just gray. Okay. We want to keep it gray. We want it too bright. Just trying to straighten it up with my brush. Alright. I also need to keep it a bit bright so you can see it. So you can see what I'm doing. And I'm leaving some of that black in the back there. The shadow part. I'm only coming over about halfway. 
That's nice. There we go. We got it. We got it. Now we have some of those leaves on those branches. That's the uh, reference photo. And we will put some on ours. I'm going to use my bristle brush. See how all the bristles are open? Size 8. So if it doesn't open for you, just push it into your hand or on your tissue. Just to open them up. See? And then you're going to go into some burnt sienna or burnt umber, if you rather, a dark brown and a dark green. Dark brown and dark green. All right. So with your dark green mixture, there's your brush all opened up. We're going to do those leaves now. So now you have all this to help you, guide you along. So pick a spot and start tapping. Tap, tap, tap. Not too hard because you don't want to end up putting big blobs on. We don't want that. We just want these very, very, let's see, make sure you can see it. Now, tap and go back and reload if you have to. Nice dark green. So you want them all separated in little tiny dots, don't you? Give it that illusion of Some places are a little bit thicker than others if you want to go by the uh, reference photo. <laughs> Jumping around on me. Jumping around. Now you might want to add a little bit of color to just throw in a little bit of yellow. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> oh my. Oh me, oh my. My boo boo. Okay. I'll fix that. I will fix that somehow. I'm just going to darken it up so you can't see it as much. You might say, how are you going to fix that? Well, when that dries, I'll probably put blue back in there to say that the, just say that the uh, sky is coming through. One little boo boo, I didn't do too bad. And that's the thing about having too much paint on your brush. So you gotta be careful. Things happen. All these little dots are everywhere. I might go and get some more burnt sienna. So you can mix up your colors a little bit, but just keep them dark. I 
I noticed in the reference photos some brighter colors on that side. Like I say, you don't have to do everything that, that the reference photo is doing. You can just do your own thing. I think that's starting to look good. Even with the little blooper. My little blooper. I got a blooper right there. So, let's see how we can fix that. I like, I like to show you anyway. So we could probably take our liner brush. You don't have to do this because you probably never made my mistake. I'm just going to put a branch back here. Break it up. Break some branches down. So if you put your trees on and you need more branches, you can still put some more there. See? Lots of things you can do. That's cute, isn't it? So the only thing I did was that little blooper there. So I if you do that, you might get really, really annoyed and think you can't fix it. When that draws, I might put a bit of blue back there just to put, let the sky come through a bit more. Okay? So I'm glad I make mistakes and that's so I can show you how to fix them. So we'll have to let that dry. So I think that's enough leaves for now. If you want more, you certainly can have them. So I think the best place for us to go now is the flowers on the uh, down there on the bottom on your reference photo. I think that might be the best place to go. There's nowhere else to go. So let's see how we're going to do this now. So I'm going to try my liner brush. Now you can get a small round brush if this one is, you know, not what you want to do. But we're going to figure out where we want our flowers are going to be right here so we're going to put on some a lighter color green so we can see it for one thing so I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to my green brighten it up so I can see where everything is going and I'm just putting in some of these little leaves here like this see right All right, so, so the flowers are going to go here. And they sort of go around. These are just leaves that are in between the flowers. Just touch, 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 touch. Okay, so there's some yellow and green. I didn't totally mix it so I can get some different colors there. Got to get that shape. I want to get a nice shape. Shape it out. Shape it out. There we go. Got to make sure you can see it be very good if I was doing a video and you couldn't see anything. So I'm just putting them on every which way. So that's the way they are in the... Uh... Oh, that's nice. Look at this. Isn't that nice? So that's the beginning of our flowers. We also have another one over here. So we'll put on all this first. Then we'll put our flowers on top a few over here. Just get uh, yellow. Try, even if you want to, you can try yellow on one side and green on the other. 
with the green side down, you can put on these little leaves. These are between the flowers, okay? You know how flowers have leaves all around them. All right, so this is the easiest way to do this. Nice. Now we got another one over here somewhere. So the other one should be here. So let's get some more paint, yellow and green. There we go. Touch, touch, touch. Touch and pull a little bit, you know, just touch. Get small leaves and bigger leaves. Okay. So wherever your flowers are going to go, put on your leaves. This is a good little technique for any flowers that you're doing. You put on your leaves first, maybe a little garden. If you're making a little garden or something like that, you put on your leaves first, and then your flowers after. Let's see how far over we're going. Pop me over here. Isn't that nice? How easy is it? Look at that. So pretty, isn't it? What a nice way to spend a day. Just painting. Creating something so beautiful. That's nice, look at that. All right, I like it. Now we'll do the one on the end. Just this little small one over here, I think, just sticking out on the side. That's it. There we go. You can also make some flowers with this brush, but I'm gonna show you uh, with different techniques. Okay, look at that, that's pretty. Now remember I said that acrylic's dry dark. See the one I did there? Dry dark on me. That's why people like oil painting because it doesn't dry as dark. But you can always oil paint over your acrylics, but you don't have to do the whole painting, but any parts that you might want to brighten up, you can certainly put oil paint over it. I'll give it a little boost. Just go over the ones you did, just brighten them up a bit. It's a big leaf there, isn't that pretty? Pretty nice. So that's all you have to be mindful of them darkening up on you. Yeah. All right, that looks better. Looks better. I want to come over by the tree. There we go. Let's see the other one next door. Starting to dry. Right? So you may have to do it twice. You may have to do it twice. Twice is nice. Gotta do it twice, do it twice. Sometimes you may have to do several layers of paint with acrylics to get it to stand out. Right?
Okay. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to do my flowers a little bit different than what is. Um, if you want to do the flowers that are in the reference photo, just use a small round brush like you did. Put red on one side and yellow on the other, and just touch, and you'll get those nice pinkish, reddish, orangey flowers. So. If you want me to show you do that first before I go ahead and do what I'm going to do, here's what I'm talking about. So, as you can see, it's hard to see with this picture, but I'll have a better one for you. Uh, you can see they're just small, low laying flowers in between those greens, right? So all you have to do is take some red and some white, red on one side and white on the other. And you can just touch in between what you did. See? And you got that, and you got one here, and you got one here, and here. And you can change up the color by adding some yellow. Small round brush, you just touch. The, the trick is putting your colors on, right, separately. I mean, that's pretty as it is. Put a couple over here. Okay. And we can put some down here. Which looks kind of pink and you just take your brush and do the same thing just touch it's a bit white so I'm gonna add a little bit more red to it but don't forget dries dark all right so you get some nice rows nice uh, flowers <laughs> put the white side down or the red side to just see what comes out Depending on the colors that you want, you can make all kinds of colors, but all I see here are reds and oranges, so make up whatever colors you want. So pretty. So pretty. A couple over here. So, I mean, even that alone is nice. I mean, you don't have to do much more. See? That's something like what's in the reference photo. Alright. Now I'll show you what trick I got up my sleeve. You've probably seen it before, but uh, you might like it. Now, even though the grass is dark, I still would mind adding some highlights to that grass a little bit. I'm just going to add some, in the reference photo, it's pretty dark, but I'm going to add a little bit of um, green and yellow, probably a little bit of burnt sienna. I don't want it too bright. Kind of on the cautious side, I guess you call it. I'm going to take my fan brush, I'm just going to tap. It gives an illusion of grass there, see? Just touch and tap. A little bit here and there, not much. So that's just a little bit of, gives it more texture, that's all. And something else I'm going to show you. I'm going to take the bristle brush, this one here, and you're going to, little trick for you, 
you're going to so this is a shortcut to making flowers take yellow and put it on one corner of your brush on your bristle brush and put red on the other corner like that and then just with the yellow side tap on a little yellow flowers here and there okay And then, because the bristles are open, they're going to give you some pretty flowers. And then you can flip it around and throw in a few little red ones. Lay them on top of what you already did if you want, or just lay them somewhere else. Isn't that cute? That way you don't have to be going back and forth to get paint. And, I don't know, just I thought it was cute. Just something I was doing. The other day and I said, oh, I must, I must tell everybody that. A <laughs> so, little bit of yellow on the corner of your brush like that. Just gently touching here and there. And then flip it over on your red. And then add a few little reds next to the yellow or into the yellow. See, and there's that one. And then I flipped it around, I guess. Right? So watch. So I put on the red, red, and then I flipped it around and I did yellow, yellow. See? Yellow, yellow. Need more yellow. All right. A little yellow over here. And I'm just using the very corner of my brush so I don't get too many blobs. Flip over and get some red. So easy. It's like you're going to flip Flip, flip. Now, so that's one little trick. And then the other one I like is, oops, get you out there. And then the other one I like is my big brush. The one inch, I have my name on, and the bristles are long and they're open. Now you're going to get some really nice, I'm going to put a few little tall flowers in. These is great for tall flowers. I know it's not in the, um, the reference photo, but I just want to show it to you anyway. So I'm going to stick with the, the reds and yellows. All right, so I'm just going to tap into some yellow. Tap, tap, tap till I get a little bit of yellow on my brush. And I'm going to go in with red. Now you can do it separately if you want. You can go back and forth. But you're going to end up with those colors on your brush anyway. So, right now, just make some tall little flowers. I'll put some up here by the tree. See that? Now, how cool is that? Lay a couple of them over here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, how cute that is. That brush is amazing. All right, just watch. Gentle touch. Look, unbelievable. Watch. Little flowers, <laughs> so cute, isn't it? Like I said, I get carried away when I use this brush, so I'm not gonna put too many more there. No, not too many more. I might go into a little bit of white, just a little tiny bit, just so I can have a couple little whites. Oh my goodness, I gotta stop. Look, how cool is that? Alright, so I'm going to leave it alone because I think I'm going to ruin it. But that's how you do it. I mean, my goodness, this brush is amazing. I can't help it. Mmm. 
They're pretty, aren't they? I don't think I can do much more with this painting. I like it the way it is. And I think I'm going to call it finished. So there it is. A nice little landscape. And I think it came out pretty nice. And um, easy techniques. Easy easy techniques i try my best to make as easy as i can for you so you can have some fun and if you like this video let me know give me a thumbs up um let me know in the comment section how you felt about this this landscape painting and how you felt about the techniques and if you have any te techniques or tips or anything you can put them in the comment section for me and then we can use them in our videos to help other people so i forgot one thing didn't i so that part there that I fooled up, I said I was going to help show you how to fix it. So I'm going to put some blue back there, blue blue sky. Let's put it in so it looks like the sky is coming through there. And I should take care of that. Add a bit more white if it's not light enough because we need to match it up with the background, right? Hmm. There we go, we'll just match it up. And that's all you have to do. You fool up. That's better. Okay, so that's it. So thank you very much for watching my video, and uh, I will do another video coming up soon I have another couple of beautiful ones coming up I'll let you know about those just ring my bell and so you can get notified of my new paintings coming up and that's it for now guys I will sign out and I will say happy painting see you in the next video bye <laughs>